everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. We had another hot, steamy day, and I had some chickens that were trying to go broody. What is this? It's it's crazy. I've, I have two that are broody right now. A third was broody, and I pushed her out of the nest, and she decided that she would stay out because she doesn't like to be pushed out of the nest. Then I had another one that would not get out of the nest, no matter what I did. So I put her in what they call is, I guess, a timeout or the broody house or the, the, it's like a dog kennel that has no bedding. It just has food and water and it's supposed to help cool her off. Then I had another hen that wanted to go broody and I pushed that one out and they're trying to bite me and Finally, 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 that one went out, and that one's out and about somewhere. I don't know where it is right now. That's That was Brownie, the last one. So Brownie could be on the outside of the fence just walking around, or she could be under the pine tree. I don't know exactly where she is, but I didn't see her. But I will see her when she comes back to roost for the night. I will let the one in the doghouse out at nighttime, and hopefully it roosts and not goes back into the nesting box because if it goes back into the nesting box it's going to go spend the night in the dog house <laughs> that doesn't sound good but that's where it's going to have to go because they have to cool off somebody was asking me if you could um stop the hens from being broody well it takes a little bit what it is is they they get real hot um in the spring they start to get real hot bodies hot bellies and they get that feeling that they want to have chicks so they start sitting in a nesting box and some of them if they don't have a nesting box will actually pull out some of their feathers get some grass and try to make a nesting area and the only way to break them of it they have to cool down you have to some people have actually put them in colder water but i'm not going to do that i've even heard of some people taking them in their car with the air conditioner just to cool them down i'm not going to do that either so we just put them in the um, little dog kennel thing for a while. I had talked to Shane on King Folk, King, King Folk Farms, I think it's called. Um, and he Something said that it takes about two days for them to stop being broody usually. So I'm giving it a try and if I'll see what she does tonight. And if she still is broody tomorrow, tomorrow she'll go back into the dog house. I'm sure you're all wondering what happened to the roosters. They are all at the farm. Last night, Jessica came, and she, my husband brought home his little light that you put on your forehead, and it has a, what color is it? Red. Red, uh, red, red and, and purple. Purple, and they can, can't see the can't, red. Can't really see the red. Yeah. So she <clears> shined <throat> the red to find... Andy. Andy was the first one that we had to get. I said, we have to get him. I can get the other ones if I have to myself, but we have to get him. So she got him. He was first. He was facing the opposite direction of where she was standing. So when she grabbed him, of course he squawked, but then he settled right down. So we put him in the little dog kennel and um, then I had put a sheet over the other birds, the other the other ones, because they like to sleep in the out the nesting box that's kind of on the outside of the. It's not enclosed in the little house. It's it's still enclosed in the chicken run, but it's it's my outside box is what I call them. Well, and I put the sheet over top of them, and they laid there very still. And every now and then, I would say, "Take this one; it's a boy." And so Jessica would take it. Then we found a couple girls, and so we moved them to a different box, and they just laid there. In the dark, these chickens can't really see. They might complain a little bit, but they can't see, so they stay put. Chickens can't see in the dark, and that's a good thing. So then Jim went down to the farm because it needed to be mowed, and so he, well, he was down there. I said to him, check on the chickens, see how they're doing. And he saw them, and they were doing really good. And then he mowed, and he had just gotten back. He, there's a lot to mow down there. It's an awful lot of mowing. If we had a, a sickle bar kind of mower, he could have made hay, but we don't need any hay. We don't even have any animals. And none of my brothers have any of their uh, livestock anymore. My brother doesn't have any cows or goats anymore, and my other brother doesn't have any cows either. So they don't have the animals that would need 
the hay. So we just mow it down with a brush chopper he's using. And it's on the back of his tractor. I watched Crafting on Wheels, and it's, I think her name is Ember. From when I, when she says it, that's what it sounds like to me. So I've been calling her Ember. I hope that's correct. But anyways, she's, she's in a wheelchair, and she's really, she, she's basically blind. But she does these beautiful cards and things. It's amazing to watch her. I would like if um, others went and watched her. She doesn't have a lot of subscribers. I think she's got about 146 subscribers, but she's really good. So when I do my videos, I have to learn to be a little more descriptive because sometimes if you can't see what I'm talking about, which I don't show you anything other than the little clips, which I'm going to put a little clip in in a little bit, not just yet. And um, I need to describe what, what's happening a little more. So in my clip, uh, the clip that I'm going to put in, you're going to see the, there was six roosters in one cage and there's one in the other, but the one you can't see until he puts them in the truck. So we had seven roosters and I still have one. So that means I really had eight roosters and there's a couple of them in there that are really pretty. There was a one that had the green legs, so it was of Americana breed and the, the, and you can tell by the face and by the tail. And what I'm showing you with the tail is they've got pointy feathers. The faces are real red and they've got the little red things that hang under their beaks and their crowns are red. They've got a little more redness in their face. But the tail, you'll look for the, the pointy feathers is what I'm showing you. So now let's go to that clip. There's my seven. Well, that's six of them. Two four, six, six roosters, and in there is Andy. I don't know if you can see him or not. He's kind of standing up, but boy, what a difference when I was feeding this morning. Okay, boys, you're going to be going for a little ride down to the farm. You shall go. This is the last I'll see of them because I'm not going to bring the camera. It's too hard to take care of business and video, too. You guys are so pretty. It's too bad. It's your boys. Well, you're going to go for a ride. Hi. There they are. See, there's, they can tell the roosters by their, by their faces and by their tails. Here comes Andy. He's coming next. And there's Andy. Hello, Andy. You're going for a ride, too. Shall we go? Um, probably the little ones can go first. There you go. We're going to let you free. And you can live on this farm. Bring them closer to the creek. Can we do that? Somebody pooped on top of the cage. Your door's on your side. I know. Okay. That door doesn't open very easy. There you go. Go the other way. Come on. Go on. There you go. I'm gonna go get a drink first off. Maybe. Whoa, I just got my foot in the water. Ugh. There you go. New surroundings. You're going to love it down here. You'll have lots of freedom. The alternative would have been culling and you don't want that.
Oh, there's bugs buzzing in my ears. You can crawl. My little learning how. Here comes Andy. Okay, Andy, you can come out. Oh, now he goes. goes. He runs out. He says, enough of that. I think they're going to do good. Yeah. Give yourself a crow. Say we're home. I stepped in water. There's mosquitoes flying. Oh, there he goes. Says, I'm going to go over there. Yep. You going to come over? They're going to fly too. Probably. Hmm. Oh, I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes. Well, little ones, I'm going to leave you. Enjoy. Well, that's the roosters, and they're really happy where they're at. We brought them down to the creek area so that they would have the water, so they'd know where the water was, because they needed to know that. And this way they can travel wherever they want to go in the, in the, um, on the farm. Uh, also, I was telling you how it was easy to collect, to, to get these. Jessica was really good at grabbing the rooster. The one that was hard, Andy. And if you notice, when he, he ran, when we opened his little dog crate, he just zoomed out. He was, he was really a tricky little bird. The other ones would, when I would give out the scratch, would be on my feet and I could pet them. I could actually pick them up. They were a lot friendlier, but the one that was starting to crow, there was one in the video that went, Err! and I thought it was going to do its crow or practice crow. And um, that one was starting to get distant. When they start to crow, they start to get standoffish and they don't want to get near you. So that's what happened with the roosters. So they're all gone. And now I've got, I've got Silver sitting on seven eggs and I've got my Americana sitting on two eggs. And I've got one bird in the timeout cage and I pushed two of them off of the nest. <laughs> oh gosh, they all want to go broody. And they say that the bantams are greatly, are known for going broody and boy, they all want to. But I can't have any more babies in this batch. My, I'll have to have build another coop and then I will really be a farmer. I did sell a dozen eggs today, but I still have five dozen in the refrigerator. I gave two away to the neighbor and I've gave two away to Jessica and I gave I've sold one and I gave one to my renter and I still have eggs in the freeze in the fridge so I gotta boil some eggs and maybe start eating some eggs so that's my video for today I will talk to you all again tomorrow bye bye